Here's the tomb of Stephen Randall. Stephen Randall was a direct descendant of Roger Williams and in 1860 decided to ascertain the uh, whereabouts and nature of the remains of his distinguished ancestor. And it was pretty well known at the time that uh, Roger Williams had been buried in the back of his original homestead, which uh, stood uh, on North Main Street, today's North Main Street. It had been determined sometime before then that the location of the grave of Roger and his wife uh, Mary were in the yard of uh, what's today the Sullivan Door House at 109 Benefit Street. So in 1860, Stephen Randall uh, had the grave reopened. There was no, uh, no, no body, of course, and not even any bones, uh, only some fragments of wood with some nails from the casket. And very curious anomaly was found. There was an apple orchard that had been around the burial ground. And upon opening the grave, they found the root of an apple tree, which ran down in a single branch, uh, like a spine, then, then branched out in a V-shape, and then ran down as if in the shape of two legs, and then abruptly turned upward at a 90 degree angle, as if turning at the heel and running up the bottom of the feet. And as uh, some wag put it, well, you wonder where your ancestor was. You've been eating him up in these fine apples. And people were much in awe of the mysticism of this. They scraped the bottom of the grave in case there was any dust of Roger Williams there. They took the nails, the wood. Uh, there was a lock of hair in the grave of uh, Mary, Williams and they cut out the apple tree root and they took all those things off and the box with the sediment from the graves was placed in Stephen Randall's tomb here and remained there for some time. The last recorded opening of this tomb here was in 1932 when people decided to ascertain again what was the status of Roger's uh, remains and uh, they did find the casket as described by Stephen Randall with the uh, artifacts in it and uh, they remained there for a few more years, and then was in 1936, interest was revived in creating a memorial to Roger Williams. And finally, at that time, a monument was built on Prospect Terrace. The casket was removed from the uh, North Burial Ground, taken there, placed in the base of that monument, where if you go there today, it, there's an inscription indicating that the remains of Roger Williams are buried there. That's where the casket lies, the root of the apple tree is um, on deposit at the Rhode Island Historical Society.